has disruptive investing come of age? That's a question that I get a lot. And I love it because there's so many good examples today which showcase how the speed of which change is happening in our society, our economy, our knowledge base, and obviously our technology is increasing all the time. And I usually take the uh, classic example of the innovation timeline within communications. We all know that in 1440, Gutenberg invented the printing press, allowing us to easily store and circulate communications in a way that we couldn't have done before. But we had to wait until the 1800s and the global emergence and the Industrial Revolution, so 400 odd years later, for the, its successor, the Rotary Press, to come to be. And then suddenly, boom, in 1886, the first electronic message was sent across the Atlantic, heralding a brand new communications revolution. The same thing can be, the same thing can be seen in flight. It took the Wright brothers until 1903 to showcase that flight was a possibility for humans. But then in 1969, so just 66 years later, we managed to land man on the moon thanks to digital computers with integrated circuits. And in this century, in just 20 years, We've seen further fantastic advances in digital and now cloud computing, data management and AI, gene editing, complex chemistry, sustainable energy options. You know, we even have a better understanding of DNA and life itself. All this to say that mankind today is benefiting from an exponentially growing and compounding set of knowledge and capabilities. And my favorite quote by Dr. Albert Bartlett is on man's perception of this. He said that the greatest downfall of the human race is our inability to understand the exponential function, meaning that we intuitively believe that our futures are going to run the same trajectory as our past, meaning that innovation happens on straight lines, which just isn't the case. We've seen with the example of cutting edge technology that the rate at which it enters mainstream is decreasing all the time. You know, we've watched early age internet companies like Amazon take decades to reach a maturity level, which newcomers like TikTok and Uber are reaching in a fraction of the time. And that's the whole reason actually why we founded McKinney McFarland Capital to help investors take advantage of these rapid changes. Now, we understand caution in investing and we understand the risk. However, we believe by picking the right opportunity that's well funded, investors can enjoy accelerated returns on the tail coats of world-changing benefits. The next question to ask yourself is what is a good disruptive investment? So let me take the longevity sector as an example. It's one which MMC is very active in because we see a number of exponential factors at play. Number one, we've seen great advancements in complex chemistry and our ability to manufacture complex organic compounds with the same ease that we've been designing buildings. Two, We've seen similar progress in cellular biology and genetics. And three, we've seen breakthrough innovation in the science of aging, our understanding of it, and age-related diseases. You know, and all of these scientific building blocks are each developing at an accelerated rate as science and knowledge builds upon more science and knowledge across the globe. The health of the world's increasingly aging population is an economic driving force and one which has to be solved either through cure, treatment, or prevention. And when weighing up the costs of each of these, it becomes very clear that prevention is by and large the best solution. Many of the world's economic thinkers attest to this as well. And all of this to say that in longevity, MMC sees a sector that is developing at an increasing rate towards a market need that is increasingly larger. It's like flying was in the 1900s. And it's just so clear the huge value that's going to be brought from this sector. The question that comes next and that we should be asking is, when is the time to invest? The nature of exponential growth and exponential adoption is that an idea only seems like a far-fetched one when looking backwards, not forwards. You know, things that we couldn't have imagined in our childhood are becoming a reality at a surprising rate. And so in essence, it all boils down to the exponential cancels out the timing risk in investments.